hi guys <coughs> in this video i'll talk about how to perform uh, robust regression one of the type of robust regression that i'll be talking about in this uh, video is the regression with robust uh, standard error in the previous video in this channel on this particular uh, playlist you must have gone through what is uh, the uh, robust standard uh, robust regression and uh, what is the need of robust regression why do we need it why can't we just use the multiple regression well what are the problems with multiple regression for which we want a separate regression altogether so uh, make sure that you have gone to the uh, the previous videos before going to this um, <clears throat> for this illustration i'll take a data set from sas health you can directly get it from sas health uh, well let me show you the data set uh, i've got uh, four variables uh, horsepower so this is a data set uh, on uh, vehicles okay it's it's on car so uh, this is the horsepower or the engine power of the car this is the uh, mileage uh, and then weight weight of the car and length okay so i am interested in knowing that how mileage depends on horsepower weight and length so mileage is my dependent variable and rest all three variables are my independent variables okay okay so let me first run the regression it's a simple uh, multiple regression um, as i said uh, mileage is my uh, dependent variable weight horsepower and length are my independent variables i'm also plotting the residual with respect to the predicted value if you remember uh, if you have gone through my video on multiple regression you would have uh, uh, you, you would have known that uh, if you want to uh, plot regression uh, the residual with respect to the predicted value you have to use this syntax okay uh, so let me run this code okay so you can see uh, i am not going to go into the detail all i am interested here is the parameter estimate and the plot between the residual values and the predicted values okay let us first go through the parameter estimates as you know in a multiple regression you have intercept and the slope coefficient for each of the independent variables okay um so i'm i'm not going to tell you how this is whether this is right or not we'll see it later but just have a look okay uh, just notice the t value and the standard error okay and also the parameter estimate just uh, keep your eye on these three value parameter estimates standard error and t value okay let us go further let us look at the uh, plot well this is a residual plot uh, with respect to the predicted value as you know that this plot should be uniform in nature that means the variation of these residual uh, with respect to the predicted value should be uniformly distributed um, but you can see that you know uh, it's not uniform at the very end at the tail part of this plot you can see that there is a huge variation if you look at the cost cursor there's a huge variation right so that violates something right so what is that something if you remember that's nothing but violation of homoscedasticity uh, assumption or uh, it's a heteroscedastic heteroscedastic plot bear me with my pronunciation so um <coughs> Well, that's a problem. We need to deal with heteroscedasticity, and you know, if we really don't want to get rid of this, we want some way in which the algorithm take care of itself. We need to go for robust regression. Okay, so we have in SAS something known as the asymptotic covariance. Okay, so in short, we write it as A C O B. Okay that's an option available in sas uh, i have highlighted this so the asymptotic covariance matrix ensures that 
the uh, you know the regression takes care of the problem or the flaws in the uh, earlier regression or the OLS problem regression that we ran just now. Okay, so the problem of heteroscedasticity which is there in this graph will be no more or I'm sorry, it's not no more. The problem will be considered while estimation. That means this problem is not going to make much of an impact to the uh, to the estimates. The estimates will be adjusted. Remember, uh, because of this problem, uh, when we deal with this problem with robust regression, the estimates are not going to change. I repeat, the estimates are not going to change. Slope coefficient as well as the uh, intercept are going to remain exactly same. That is the reason why I said to remember this particular table. Because when we run the other, let us go and run this code where we have used the A covariance uh, option so that uh, says that we are going to use regression with robust standard error. Okay, let us run this. So we will straight away go to the parameter estimates. Okay, so when we see at the parameter estimate, well we don't need to remember actually the values, it's already there. So you know, the first part is up to this point, it's just the normal equation, normal regression and then uh, there are three things uh, or the two things which uh, uh, which which are different. Uh, one is the standard error. The next thing is the t value. If the standard error is changing, obviously the t value will also don't tend to change. If you look at the normal regression without taking into consideration the asymptotic covariance thing, you have the same estimates. There is no change in estimates. That's one thing. Uh, standard error is different. Look at the standard error here and look at the standard error here. Okay. It's 2.25, 2.52, right? So it's different. So now the standard error, there is some adjustment happening here. Okay. Uh, here also you can see. So there is some adjustment happening here. Similarly, the T value, it's 17.51. Here it's 15.59. So once we, you know, uh, use this asymptotic covariance matrix for estimation, adjustment happens to take into consideration the heteroscedasticity and uh, you know now we can say that the standard is robust enough and this method methodology or this uh, technique is known as uh, robust regression or regression with robust standard error okay so uh, the only difference uh, in the uh, robust standard error regression method is that we are just adjusting the standard error and the t-statistic. There is absolutely no change to the parameter estimates.